So you have the paper versions there, and they sent me these, so you can actually see them in a little bit bigger format. You'll have to tell me which scheme it is. Oh, is this one? That's that's one. One. <coughs> actually, that's so scheme two. Only difference is it doesn't have the red on the lower part. Scheme three. Red and red. Scheme four. We already turned that one over. For the green roof. And there's the other side. That's red with the gray roof. Scheme <laughs> one. Scheme two. Scheme three. All in favor of no green roof? Aye. Put that one over. Let's eliminate that one. I like scheme number three. I like scheme number three as well. That's my top choice. You like scheme number three? All in favor of scheme number Wait a minute. Well, wait, 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 wait. Joe's just getting a chance to. Didn't mean to rush it. Nope. Here goes. One. Two. This is what we had with our last name. Okay. That, was, that was the original one we thought. Scheme four is out, sorry. If you like green, tough. <laughs> no, <laughs> scheme four. Scheme one is the gray roof with the red. And the snow bars are going to match the roof, correct? When they're on, same color. They have those to a T, or are those going to be an offset? Because sometimes they're usually, they're um, usually they're aluminum. the same color as the roof. Are they? I think, yeah, so. I think you can get them. Exactly. You might be able to get them the same color. I'm just you know, either that or yeah. extruded regular aluminum. You can't. You can't even. Okay. So just make up your mind. Yeah. I guess it depends on the manufacturer. So, do we want to eliminate another one? Does any does is anybody interested in number one with the gray roof? Okay. And I originally thought I didn't want a red roof, but now I don't want the gray roof. Okay, so is everybody okay with me taking one on? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're down to scheme two and scheme three. What, what do you have up there now, Mike? This is scheme three. three. Okay. Yeah, so I do have to say myself, I do like the lower I red. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. It breaks you, it up. You breaks it up. You didn't it's have too much that gray. One say this one was good. Right. That one's nice. That was better. Right. That, that, that was. Okay. <coughs> it kind of goes with the. That's scheme yeah. two. It, 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 it balances yeah. it out. They asked about red doors, but I think I don't no. think we need no. red doors. No, no, no. <laughs> this, that kind of, this is enough to break it up. Right. right. That gives you a nice. Can we look at it on here again? Uh, three? Three? Yeah. I'll show you both sides here. So here's scheme three, the front elevation. And scheme three, the side. I think that's right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, it's pretty much. I think uh, scheme three carries a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What do you like? I'm fine. Whatever you guys like. I actually originally like this. I actually so like, you really want? I like yeah. scheme two. I didn't like all the red, but I I'm actually, no, I did not want number four. I don't want to. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Meyer, thanks. Yeah, I was going between two and three. You sure you don't like yellow? You want yellow, Meyer? No. Yellow roof? <coughs> all right, so we'll take two out. It's up to you, Chief. Chief, you want to make a formal vote? Okay. Recommendation? Vote. All those in favor of scheme three, please raise your hand. I need a motion. 
make a motion. Make a motion. Joyce, Second. make a motion. I'm second. Second, Joe. What did the motion say? All those in favor? The motion to accept <laughs> scheme number three as the selection from the North Hadley Fire Substation Committee. Are we, we've taken a vote. Yep. Okay. Seems to be unanimous. That scheme three it is. Next time we get the project schedule updates. Did it say did it say what Ricky had Ricky had like he wanted two I think. Yeah. Well number one was the red roof gray everything. Okay. And then if there was yeah. And then he liked one with the red the bar. gray. Gray. Okay. No. <coughs> yeah. So we'll have so it's not unanimous, it's we had one that wanted scheme two. Well can this can count his vote not here? He just wrote it down. So he wanted scheme no, yeah, scheme two as right. his number one, correct? Right. Right. He came in and, and asked because he just couldn't be here tonight, so that's fine. That's fine. He came in and looked at us. It's unanimous still. So that's good. Perfect. Okay. 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 Updates? I like the schedule update. Mm. The only schedule update I have is no. uh, you all know that the planning board is next week, next Tuesday. So if you guys can make it a point to be there. Yep. Where am I, Kevlar? Huh? Am I Kevlar? Mm -hmm. Are Kevlar? Um, uh, we are, I don't think anything's changed. You heard that the schedule got moved to July for groundbreaking rather than May. So they moved eight, it to July. Eight weeks later, they were the two projects a little bit to start. So they, yeah, they wanted to stay the south of the project. Cost of it will not change the cost. They well, they had it slated for 12, 12 months anyways. Mm -hmm. So they had a little fluff of room in there, so they're just going to be on that 12 month. Any, project, any items seen or unseen? I have received phone calls about why there are ball fields in the plans. And Mike has told me about that. Yeah, the ball fields were in the plan when, when the master um, building committee had just, David had just done a slight layout of they it. They wanted to know no, this was This was actually done after. This was done by Carlos. Berkshire design. Mm -hmm. David had done it originally. Originally David had done it. Originally, but as yeah. part of the, when they submitted the plans, mm -hmm. they, the planning board was asking about what could be used there. It's so just they, showing the amount of space there the was. the possibility there's, of putting fields well, Did you guys see the email? It's got like, there's four different sheets. There's one with the actual amount of usable land, and then they put like, there's one with just a ball field, and then there's one with a ball field and a soccer field. And then they also labeled on there the potential of like, uh, you know, the little dog, the yes. dog pound there, yeah. and yeah. potential for a training structure. The person that was calling and asking me about this was on the planning board. Yeah, so, I mean, he's, he's, I'll say it, he came in a couple times requesting to take a look at the plans. This is uh, John Michikoski from the planning board. I gave him um, the set of drawings that the planning board had shipped to us and the 80% documents to take a look at. So I shared those with him so he could see where we're at. Pretty much everything is the same. In as it was is when it was on the ball field. We didn't really change anything interior, interior wise. If you remember, the plan is pretty much just mm -hmm. taken from that site up okay, to this site. Um, so there really wasn't any change to that. There were, I guess, some questions about why we located it where we did. Mm -hmm. So that'll, um, I think we have pretty reasonable answers for that. There was questions as to why we don't have the driveway directly across from Stockbridge. Um, and I Why would we? That's not always saying that your engine is going to go out and head right down Stockbridge. You can go left, you can go right. And if you have to go down Stockbridge, so you make a turn. I mean, that's not well, any... We had discussed about by, by setting it this way, the guys are going to have to walk. Correct. And it's going to be a safer, safer, right. you know, when they safer launch. And that's also was the higher elevation, yep. and that was the piece of yep. land that was see worth it better. <coughs> When Joe puts the pound ten mill, he's sure nobody's out there. Plus, the other thing is, you know, we would have to have a, an additional driveway then, mm -hmm. because as of right now, you have fire truck coming out of one space, right? You can't and your responders are going, going in out, so you're not running into each other. Right. <coughs> you still have to have another driveway. Right. Well, that's what I had. So, anyways, that's next next uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, you, I think it what starts at seven, six, seven, seven, seven o'clock. So if the committee can be there, um, just to answer any questions. And They've asked me to address the, on the select board side. 
um, of why we placed it there. So I will get up and face the music. Well, I mean, you've got a little room for expansion. I and do. you've got the elevation is where they wanted it, and the driveway's like that. So I mean, it's mm -hmm. We just felt that it was better use of the property to put it where we did. Right. There's also some conservation area and wetlands right, that are behind right the north corner, side, right. so that's not really buildable, um, per se, at this point. Yeah, and we wanted the room all around it, like, like you said. Right, future you want stuff. We didn't want to hug the left or right side. Right. You know what I mean? It's for future. And you never know what it's going to yep. use it for. So better use of the property. Correct. And the building. And the building. The building. <coughs> I think all the uh, borings came back, and I know that I was looking, reviewing the minutes, and I know that they stated that they were, I'll check with them, but they were looking to see where those borings were actually done. I know the borings came back, if you remember, very favorable. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> like there was a lot of, you know, it was really deep for sand. Mm -hmm. And yep. it was, and then there is a pretty substantial berm on that north side. So we're kind of tucked up, up you know, the there's berm. enough space to allow for right. an additional bay. Mm -hmm. And if we ever decided we needed a driveway around it, plus, um, you know, we've had a request to put the, the what the Harbor Vites or whatever along that, that north side. So <coughs> I think it leaves enough room for that as well. Anyways, I, I thought we, we did a pretty good job. I don't think it's centrally located on the project. If you look at the building. Not really, not if you look at the building topography and you want to have a little room to add on if you need well, it. Well, we didn't do it specific to just take it and put it in the middle of the property. No, no that it was. wasn't the intent of buying that whole piece of property. Right. It was for one building. It's not in the middle. No. It's not in the middle. No. Well, they're, they're looking at it as the project, so they're including the driveway as well. So they're thinking with with that, you know, that how it's looped down. So if down the road you wanted to add a driveway off to access fields or another building, yeah. you're coming, you come in and you could go straight or you could loop into the fire fire parking area. So right. I guess that's <coughs> what they're talking about. That's the, that's what makes them feel like it's centrally located in the project. So and the driveway should be centrally located for whatever you're gonna do. Sure. Yeah. But who knows what you're gonna do. We can't sit here and judge that. I could see the future would be down at MGM. Exactly. And the future plans for the ag land, has that been further discussed before this project gets started or, or something gets planted or you know, I'm just well, we're asking? Not, we're not, we're not uh, renting, renting that sure. for growing, but um, for this season coming up. This season coming yeah. up, but okay. we did rent the barn out again to Wally because we had already mentioned that, that that's what, you know. Um, did you find out about the liability on that? Uh, we, we're, he's been renting on that. It covers under our, he'll have to cover something for his own. Mm. We cover the building, he covers the contents. Mm. What about injury? Injury? Mm. It's called use at your own risk. Mm. Well, it's like, it's like anything when we had the PVCA over in Hooker, I mean, the Russell School. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's our building, but they still have to They must have to have like a two million have, liability. You have to ha carry your own insurance yeah. when you rent from somebody and else. We've got a copy of that. Um, <coughs> it might be in the lease. It's like we did when we have a with a five two comb, but okay. the project starting in July. July, yeah. Of, the, of next year, not this year. Is it July of nineteen or July sure. of July of nineteen? This year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. When's it going to be done? It's going to be done two thousand twenty. Right. Stop. <laughs> Mike, we are moving forward. Is it, finally, is it 19? finish your coffee. <laughs> How time flies when you're working on a project. Next item would be uh, any problems seen or unseen. Joe brought up a good point about bag use of the land. It, just to uh, bring up when we do start our project, we agreed the other night at the select board meeting. All of the projects are going to be in compliance with um, a $10,000 cap for a change of order. Um, with the select board being able to meet weekly or whatever as we need to, to make sure that there will always be like 10000 there, but we don't want any one committee spending more than 10000 on a change order at a time. Some ask for like a $20,000 cap, but um, we voted to do a $10,000 on a change mm -hmm. order, and if it's going to be something different, it needs to come back to the committee and the select board about expending more. We don't want to go over the budgets um, on any project, so we would like to keep an eye on that. Do we have any fireworks grand opening? 
sounds like a great idea. Like the 4th of July parties used to be up north? Yeah. yeah. We used to have fireworks at <coughs> town hall all the time. This club used to do a food wagon. We'd have, you know, be cooking hamburgers out there. Used to have a good time up there. Beer wagon. Mm -hmm. You guys used to do the beer wagon. Pull the flat better yeah, across the fun. road and have a polka band playing. Right yeah. Marlon was around for a few of those, huh? The nice thing is they have pictures. <laughs> Anything else? Um. Anybody else have anything else to bring up? Um, just want to check and see when our next is anything on the calendar. Here. So our next meeting is after the February twenty first. It looks like so we have <coughs> we're hoping to get site plan approval on the next meeting Tuesday the nineteenth. So, so if that's Tuesday the nineteenth. Then we have a building committee meeting on February twenty first. And we're looking at March 5th for 100% uh, construction documents being completed. Unless there's a change because the uh, the time frame got moved back a couple months. But that's as of the uh, December 4th time frame we received. So, same time, 5.30? Unless there's a better time for everybody, yeah. Is 5.30 still okay with everybody? That's right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be busy sugaring, <laughs> probably, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty soon. Huh? Yeah, sugar if you're boiling or it's snowing, it's a no go. But other than that. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sounds good. Is there a uh, motion to adjourn? Yeah. Make a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. right. Make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.